Before returning to the miniature hobby, I spent a lot of time on illustration. I particularly enjoyed working with Copic alcohol markers, which have fantastic pigments that blend really well together. While working with other art mediums definitely isn't required to be a good mini painter, it definitely helps you understand the importance of light, and why your shades and highlights on minis are so critical to them looking good. A few of my Copic markers I had never really used were the fluorescent colours, so I ordered a UV lamp to see what I could do with them. There's something almost mystifying about being able to create a piece of art that under normal conditions looks quite common, but switch on a special light source and it completely comes to life and becomes something really fascinating. It's like those fantasy stories where you take a wrong turn down an ugly alley or walk through a wardrobe or fall down a rabbit hole, and all of a sudden, what was once very drab and ordinary, becomes the extraordinary. Recently I wanted to see if I can paint miniatures in a similar way, and found this neon set from AK Interactive. This video is not sponsored by the way. The kit comes with a nice array of colours, yellow, orange, red, green, blue, which you should be able to mix and have a pretty wide array of fluorescent colours. Initial testing has showed that four of the colours were more responsive to UV light than the others. This will depend on the range of your light source though, as I've noticed in the past my lamp does not do very well with fluorescent blues. So I use these colours both through an airbrush and with a regular brush, and well you've already seen the results. I think this looks pretty cool. The paints themselves weren't too hard to work with, but they felt a little bit low in pigment. I had to do quite a few layers at some points to build it up. If you look at the model under regular light, you'll see that even with quite a few layers, it is still fairly thin in some areas. So you will need to have some patience in order to build up your desired colours. Overall, a fun experiment that would work pretty well if you are looking for a subtle effect to work with an existing paint job. When I start my Drukhari Force, I plan to use these paints for edge highlights. If you want to see how that turns out, please subscribe and ring the bell so you know when that video will be available. Thank you.